Hi and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking into this video. So in this video, I am going to teach you how to beat Nameless Puppet on Lies of P. Make sure that you stay until the very end of this video so you don't miss an important step or information. And without further ado, let's get on it. So how to beat the Nameless Puppet in Lies of P. So as is the norm by now, knowing how to perfectly guard against attacks will be a skill that comes in handy during this fight. So if not, just being consistent by blocking can be a life-saving tactic in both phases of the battle. So the use of defensive legion arm like the Aegis can help as well as will equipping faster weapons and better armor. So for the first one, so in the essence, the Nameless Puppet is an enemy similar to any Stalkers or Laxatia the Complete, which means it moves fast and hits hard. So in general, this enemy will use its swords to attack at times, transform the weapon into a great sword to deal more damage. So it will use a flurry to quick slashes as a combo, as either guard perfectly or keep the block up to reduce damage taken. And when it uses the great sword, it will look to rush at the player a, as well a well-timed dodge or block will open up a window for attacking and the swinging great sword attacks are easily avoided and give players some time to do some damage of their own so be a little more defensive and look straff around the nameless puppet as much as possible only attacking when it is when it is taking some downtime or staggered by consistent blocking so just try not to get too far away from it as it has the ability to use the pulse cell to regenerate its health as well and the next is for the phase two so now that the capeto is no longer in control of the nameless puppet things are about to get even more dangerous than before so you need to expect greater speed of attacks slash combos now combine fast attacks fast attacks and constant movement from the nameless puppet so try to to get the timing down to negate damage and if the boss slips into the air watch out for a speedy dive that can be avoided with a dodge and you can also fire off a wave of energy to its front when jumping into the air so just try to block it as there might not be enough time to get away and when it joins its swords together it will unleash an extended combo combo of back and forth slashes tough it out or use the ages to gain some footing and at range it can be it can use two attacks so the first is a grab so if the nameless puppet starts rearing up get ready to dodge at the last possible moment otherwise when it changes its weapon to a lance it will fire out a beam followed by a thrust so as same as before, it is wise to attack when there is some downtime. It can be hard to block all of the fast-moving attacks, so expect some damage and heal up whenever possible. And Aegis will be great here as well as is the perfect guard grindstone, which triggers a perfect guard every few seconds. So hopefully that will cause the Nameless Puppet to be staggered and let players execute a fatal attack. So that's it for this video and I hope this helped you and if it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit notification bell button so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.